Yo, what is going on guys, Bobby here. And before we start the video, I have some really, really amazing news. So you guys are gonna see huge changes within the next one, two, three videos when it comes to my setup. Everything is gonna be changed. I'm super, super pumped. I don't know if you can see this area over here. You guys probably can. But, um, you know, I got a, literally two times the size of a desk. I'm gonna be getting a second monitor. I'm gonna be getting some padding. I'm gonna be getting a new mic, you know, potentially a new camera. I'm, I'm undecided on it yet. Still new lighting. Um, it's gonna be coming really, really soon. So I'm super excited about that. Um, but what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys how to win with randoms every single time on gem grab. Now gem grab is super easy to win with randoms because I feel like the randoms in this mode kind of have the most IQ. So all you have to do basically is just play Tara, you know, play it smart, use your supers effectively, win lane the entire game. And it's not that hard with Tara because all you need to do is just solo suck anybody near you. So anyways, what we're going to be doing is hopping into some games. Let's get into the first ones and I'm going to show you guys how to win every single time on gem grab with randoms. Okay, so here we go into the first game, and obviously we're going to be facing harder teams as we're at the 650 trophy range. We're playing with a Crow and a Penny. Obviously, this is not ideal as a mid and a lane, but we're going to figure it out. So Tara obviously got a buff recently, but basically what you want to do is chip away until you get her super. Her super obviously is how she wins lanes. And it's okay if I go down here, to be honest, because, you know, I'm very close to having my super charge. It's not the end. Obviously, you want to get the kill, but it's not the end of the world if you go down early in a game with Tara. So we're chilling right now. I'm gonna bait that Rosa. Now let's get some shots off on her. She's gonna pop her super. We're gonna go down again. She should be taken out. Mm, I don't know if we got it or not. Apparently we didn't. So that's not looking very good for us. But again, Tara is kind of just like a one play thing. So we have to wait until the end of the game here before we show you guys what Tara can really do. So we're not gonna use our super on this Tara. I mean, on this Rosa, we're going to kind of wait a little bit. She's going to go down, we know that. So there we go, we got two gems, and now we have an open lane, which is what we've been wanting, so we're going to move up this lane now. And now our goal is to get the gems or to hold lane. We can do one or the other. Right now, what I'm going to do is just wait over here. I missed, well, I got my pull, but that's not really what I wanted to do with it. You guys can see, though, that Sandy is super low. The Sandy's going to be taken out. going to get a chip shot over there, going to pick up some of these. And we're going to save our super. Now we're going to go right back to the side over here. Hold our lane. You guys can see that Rose is coming right towards us. She has all the gems on their team. Now everyone on our team is dead. So you guys can notice it's just us right now. We're still holding off. We're doing perfectly fine. We're going to move to the mid. We're going to have enough gems as a team now. We're going to go back into hiding. It's very important that they don't know where we are. We're going to wait for the Rosa. Get that double pull right over there, get another pull, and that is going to be the game. So again, with randoms, it's not going to be super easy, it's not going to just be a clean game front to bottom, but you can expect basically just to do that, you know, it's basically just win one lane, get that lane one with Tara, and then you can start to make moves. So that's the first game, that was a really good representation, we're going to switch up the randoms every, every single time. So let's hop into the second game, and hopefully we can have kind of teammates like this where they're not the best composition wise and we don't run through teams. I'm going to show you guys how to turn the games around with Tara. Okay, so here we go into the next one. We're going to be facing a very similar team comp. We're going to have a Tara, a Leon on our team, and a Crow. So the Crow should probably go mid, but he's going to come into the lane with me. We're facing an opposing Tara. Interesting. Let's get some shots. Obviously, we're trying to charge that super. You get some healing going. We have a crow over here helping us, which is actually really useful on this map, but it would be a lot better if we had a mid, to be honest. Just gonna wait for this Rosa to walk up. We're close to our super. There we go, we got it, but they're kind of just hiding on that side. We're gonna solo pull this Rosa. But you guys can see we have this lane on lockdown. Nobody's getting in this lane. We're doing pretty good. Our gems were just taken because we don't really have the smartest teammate in the world. We're gonna solo pull this Rosa. Now we could have actually gotten the kill, except she did pop her super, but again, it doesn't really matter because we're very close to our super again. There goes our gems again. Interesting. So now I have to kind of like guard the middle. Good kill over there. And hopefully, there we go, I'm able to get it. But this isn't looking very good for us, to be honest. I'm gonna walk through this left side. We can kill either the Rosa or the Leon. We can pick since they both have gems. I'm trying to get my super. The Crow's gonna jump right into the Rosa. 
I'm gonna get a super down. Oh, and we needed one more second, but we weren't able to get the kill. So that is going to be a loss. And obviously, you know, we can't win every game. That's gonna be an L. Teammates weren't very good. It was played a little bit weird. Let's hop into the next game. There's no matchmaking. Let's hop into it. So they're gonna have a Tara, a Penny, and a Jesse. So a pretty interesting comp. Looks like we have the same Leon on our team. Let's go down this left side. Gonna kinda let that Leon just tank a little bit. We don't really wanna charge that Tara, and I'm just gonna walk up and auto aim it. Have a guaranteed kill. So we have our lane one. We're close-ish to charging our super. We're able to get the kill over there, but we don't want the gems. We have our super now. So now we want to get some double pulls since they don't really have that much tankiness on their team. We're only able to get one over there, but doesn't matter. We're still able to get the kill. We have this grass over here, so we can just basically chill in here, not do much. The Rose is looking for a pull. Or sorry, not the Rosa, the Tara. But again, we don't even need to aim. We can literally just auto aim out of this potion. We'll be fine. That Leon is being super, super sneaky right now. I don't, I'm not a fan of this Crow's movement and how close he's getting. There we go, another solo pull. Here we get that kill over there. Pretty interesting. The, the Leon is just hiding behind them, not doing anything. I really don't know why. We're li we've literally been 2v3ing this game. Crow's gonna move into the mid. I think the Tara still has super. Uh-oh. Oh, the Tara wastes her own super, so now they're gonna have to come down near us. Looking a little bit sketchy for the other team. We're gonna try and regen over here. Gonna get some auto aims going. Gonna be able to pick up that kill. They're gonna try and come for us. We're gonna be able to get that pull over there. Be able to pick up that kill, and hopefully the Crow is fine, which I think he will be. Very good that he didn't go for that. He could have just costed us the game. We're going to get our super again. The Leon finally decides to move after literally three minutes. And he's just going to go down. Uh oh. Our Crow's in a really bad spot over there. Let's try and get this pull. Oh, we got two of them. And we got the Tara. That should end the game. The Crow could just pick up the two gems near us. But anyways, we're able to get the kills. And we're able to get the double pull and kill the Tara, which is really OP. Going to stand right here. Going to get two pulls. Gonna go right here, gonna get another one. And that is going to be the game. So we're two for three so far. That game we definitely carried and it was pretty simple. I didn't have to do anything spectacular. Let's hop into the fourth game. And let's hopefully get another win with you know, some subpar randoms. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And we have a Piper, a Jesse, and we're facing I think a Penny, Poco, and Mortis. A very interesting team call. Gonna move up over here. This is gonna be a free kill on the penny. Oh, good jukes by it. Either way. Oh, okay, there we go. We have no clue where that mortis is though. Where is that mortis? Oh, the mortis is going for the sneak. Hopefully the piper comes near us. We can help defend it. Gonna give him a little bit of a spin. So we almost got our super already. Looking really good. Mortis is gonna try and come into our bushes. We're not gonna allow that obviously. Just some auto aim shots. You don't necessarily need to aim with Tara that much, especially if you're close. So this is the toxic part. They literally can't do anything. Just get those solo pulls and that's it. Then you're just going to hide in bushes. You're basically just going to chip away. You're going to get your pull again and do the same thing. I believe it's like four or five cards only to charge the super after you solo pull. So yep, there we go. We got it. Going to hide back in the bush and just wait for something to come near us again. Literally like nothing anyone can do. It's very, very broken. So we're just hiding in these bushes. Waiting for that Mortis specifically, because he's the one that's going to make the crazy plays on their team. Yikes, okay. You guys didn't see that. I was going to go for the double pull, but I got the miss instead. So we all got to stay alive, but we're looking pretty good. I don't think anything can happen. We're going to stay up here just for fun. We're going to get bats by this Mortis. Going to wait for more so we can pull them all. Oh, missed another pull, and we actually got killed. Okay. Not a great demonstration over there. But we should be fine either way. Gonna pick up that kill. And we just got a Mortis over here. That's all we got left. There's no way the Mortis killing us all. There we go. Got that guy. And that is going to be the game over there. So we're three for four. Looking really good. Let's do one more game. Hopefully we can go four for five. 80% is really good when playing with randoms. And again, you guys see it, especially with that game. I didn't do anything special, so it's not anything that you guys can't do. Let's hop into that last game, and hopefully, again, we can pick up another win. 
Okay, so here we go against a Jesse, a Mortis, and a Primo. So pretty interesting comp. We got Nita, Mortis, and Tara. This Mortis is spinning at us. So we don't have a mid. So this is definitely a very broken comp, which is perfect for the video, actually. Let's see if we can get that kill. I'm gonna get that really quickly. Looks like the Primo over here is pretty low. Able just to chip it down, not let it regen. Very annoying, just max damage chips. And we're gonna hide in this bush now. We're gonna go for the solo pull. Easy kill, as always, when you do that. And we almost have our super back, so we're looking pretty good. They're obviously gonna come for me. We get that solo pull over there. We're gonna get jumped on, but that's fine. I believe our Mortis should be able to pick up that kill. Hasn't been able to yet, which is really weird, but there we go. He's able to get it. So we're looking pretty good. Gonna have to defend our Mortis over here, though. There we go, got this kill on the Jesse. Oh, but good turret. I won't be able to juke it since I'm so close. Oh, I think our Mortis just threw. No. Okay, let's see if we can stop it. 9 nothing for them right now. Hopefully we can make a play. There we go, we got a double pull. Oh, they still have a few gems. There we go, that should be it. Oh, he barely survives. He barely gets out of there, but I still have my super. Interesting game so far. That turret's gotta be taken out. I gotta hit one card on it. Gonna super over there. Gonna be able to get two of them. Got my super again. Only got one over there though. We're gonna be able to get the kill on that mortar. So we're still looking pretty good. It's seven to nine now, but I'm pretty far from my super, which obviously sucks. I also need to stay alive here. Let's see what we can do. It looks like our Nita is gonna go down and our Nita was really important. Nope. I don't really know why our, our Mort just did that, but here we go, I guess. I guess we kill this Mortis. We can kill any of them, I think, and we'll be fine. We can do a solo pull over here. Oh wow, our Mortis didn't help us. Oh, but he still got the kill. So I'm gonna back off now. Very interesting game. I'm only one shot till my super. Gonna back up here. Oh, it looks like our Mortis is trying to make a play. I don't really know why. Gonna go for the double pull. We're only gonna get one. But it looks like our Mort might go down. He will. But either way, we're going to be able to get the kills. Really crazy game. I have 22 gems right now. So this has gone on for a while. I'm just going to hide in here. No risks. I also have my super, so nothing's going to happen to us. Going to wait for this uh, Primo. Get the triple pull over there. And that is a great way to end the video. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is almost winning every single time with a Tara. Um, if this Mortis is watching this video, please never do what you did again. But comment down below if you were that Mortis Gene Cheese. That's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Really awesome video coming tomorrow and really big changes coming soon. That's going to be it. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.